So there is a debate if we should go to church or we should listen to the law of the land. What, what do you guys think about that? Well, the scripture is pretty emphatic to obey the laws of the land unless it causes you to not deny your faith or cause you to turn against Christ. And what what they're dealing, telling us to do here is protect yourself and love your neighbor as yourself. In other words, because it's just wisdom. Staying at home doesn't affect my Christianity. It doesn't affect my faith in Christ. So they're not, the government's not telling me to do something that will hinder my relationship with the Lord. In fact, it should enhance it a little more being at home, per se, and seeking the Lord. And two or three gather together in his name, is in his midst. There's one scripture that says, forsake not the assembly of yourselves together. And we want to we want to get together. We want to pray with one another. And pastors Tom and Jane Gave a went to the church Sunday and yeah. did a presentation on inter, what inter, uh, yeah, I, internet on internet. Streaming, yes. I, I never know what all these <laughs> names are. Uh, what, what are you streaming? And what we're doing right now. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and, and they they preach and dean dean the little worship. They did just a studio, but they're keeping me enclosed and protected. And I, I'm, I go along with that because I had to cancel all my meetings for April and I was overseas, so I didn't want to at first. But then it turned out to be wisdom to do it. Sometimes you know, pays to listen even to your kids. I think, you know, it says to have a spirit of wisdom and revelation. And so we want to walk and proceed yes. by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Part of the words that have been spoken is that it is a time kind of hitting the reset button. God's given us a, a chance to kind of rest and be refreshed as well yeah. as be, uh, I believe, upgraded if we choose into the right things. It does say in Romans 13 and throughout Scripture, uh, especially in the New Testament, very clearly that there are no authorities except for what God sets. And so it says yes. to obey uh, the governing authorities around about you. And so we believe that we are speaking not only to uh, that Scripture and you know, being ob obedient to it, but we're also speaking to our community to say we care enough to kind of reorient our uh, church life in order to try to not only protect ourselves, but really to protect our community as well. And so we know that this is uh, a serious situation. We've already heard of people that uh, w that we have been acquainted with or, or others that we know that are, are in certain areas that have faced things and certain people have died and difficulties that are there. And so we don't want to take it uh, lightly in a wrongful way. Right. We want to have faith. We don't want to move in fear, but we want to move in confidence yes. that God can help us. And so we've uh, re uh, oriented and shifted into a little more streaming Amen. and online and connecting. We're not forsaking our fellowship, but we're actually kind of enhancing it in some ways because now every day we are trying to connect to our people in greater ways and we're just trying to impart God's heart. And so even though uh, it's through technology, praise God, that God always yes. has had an advance of technology in every season in the earth to help the church propagate the good news of Jesus Christ. And mm -hmm. so there will be ways that we can arise and shine and be a blessing to our community or individuals and pray for them and bless them yeah, and minister right. to them. We may be restricted about some of the ways that we can, just like if somebody uh, had a, a high fever and a flu, we may not uh, just have them come and flow amongst everybody at that time. We may ask them to stay home or to try to do something else. There's nothing wrong with uh, using yes. wisdom with uh, your body and with the things that God's placed in your hand and so uh, when the government is asking us to do things we can be cooperative to the point that we can uh, allow that kind of guideline to guide us in a season that is uh, tight and difficult and has some perils in it and we can walk through this as a community of faith and also for the unbelievers around us as well to feel that we are a part of the answer trying to help and we're going to do that in love and with prayer and with ministry, but also in being wise and how we operate with one another. And sometimes there's a very thin line between pride and faith. You know, sometimes we say, well, bless God, I'm going to do this and do that. And I, I'm the, the government's not going to tell me what to do. You know, well, if, if the government is telling you to deny Christ, that's one thing. But it's asking you for your neighbor's sake, for the Try everybody's sake that we're trying to get over this disease and then this plague. If, if you stay home for your own good and for your neighbor's good, there's nothing wrong with that. That's not that's not coming against your faith or your de dedication to God. So it's better to submit 
and, and do that for your own sake and for your neighbor's sake. If you really love your neighbor as yourself, you're not going to go out and expose them. And as we said, we just heard of one church up north from us that uh, the pastor went to church and church anyhow and had the coronavirus, and he gave it to a lot of his family, and a lot of the ministers and family have died out of that area. That wasn't wisdom, you know. Uh, but now if they come and say, you do this and to deny Christ, then they're, they're going to have to shoot me before I do that. Amen. And so you study, discern whether you're moving out of pride or, or, or out of wisdom or out of faith. You know, yeah. it's, it's, it's always going to be. We're not really right. here to condemn anybody about what they're yeah. trying to do, but uh, this, it just seems like to me, most of us, you know, there was a season that we kind of felt like, well, you couldn't even go to the doctor if you were sick and you couldn't right. take an aspirin or anything. And I, I think most Christians now feel like, you know, doctors were given with some wisdom and some help to be able to help people through right. infirmity and difficulty. And so we usually can utilize that to some degree right. or another. We don't negate our faith, but we pray for miracles, signs, and wonders, and protection, and blessing. But we also, you know, obey the laws of the land. When we go down the road, we obey guidelines that yes. the government government gives us all the time to go from nation to nation and if we didn't we would run into a pretty major difficulty and so scripture actually says uh, obey the king supreme the governors right on down the line and so we're trying to be uh, obedient to the lord by being obedient to his word and his word asks us to live that way amen, amen.